this movie Excellent. it was so so wonderful really cute nice message as well I'm always amazed by stop motion how many years did this take <laughs> to put together <laughs> Well, I mean, from concept to what you finally saw up on the screen, we probably had a journey of almost eight years making this particular film. A lot of that was spent developing, developing and getting yeah. the story. You know, we, it comes from this wonderful book, Alan Snow's Here Be Monsters, but it's a huge book and it's got so many characters and everything. We just spent a long time doing sort of ruthless economy of refining this story down into, you know, an animated feature. Yeah. Once we sort of read the book and felt that the core story, the core emotional universal story was the story of a boy being raised underground by box girls and his journey above ground to sort of find out where he fits into the world. Once we found that, and it took a little while, we just had to keep working on it until we told that story the best way we could and it <clears throat> cut out every other extraneous <laughs> part of the story. I know that it was a mixture between stop motion and computer animation. Yeah, we like to right? say it's a hybrid yeah. between the, the oldest technology of animation and some of the newest technologies out there. Yeah, and with with this particular story uh, and the fact that Leica's has kind of kept the same crew of folks together now for th for three films, which doesn't happen very often in stop motion, we wanted to try something different with this movie. We you know we've Coraline Paranorman, a sort of dark ghost type story stories and this was a, a comedy adventure which we hadn't really ever yeah. done before and we knew we could make a, a bigger brighter film than we'd ever made before and so yeah. that utilized a lot of our computer graphics combined with a lot of our stop-motion art. I remember with uh, Mary and Max Adam Elliott, yeah. the Australian mm, yeah. artist, Those are great. he destroyed the sets afterwards with a hammer himself because he was so frustrated it takes a lot of patience yes. to make one of these movies. Did yeah. you ever feel like doing that? You know, it takes a lot of patience, but the other thing we found in that uh, Travis Knight, uh, one of our lead animator and the CEO, he always talks about what it really takes is focus. Is that, you know, amongst all the other stuff that's going on and the fact that you're shooting on a stage and the stage is all around you with other people shooting and the noise and the light and the camera, you really, uh, the animator really has to focus on that puppet to get that performance to get out of it. You know, Travis likes to say, all the life that you see on the screen is drained out of the animator who's doing the <laughs> animation. It's sucked out like little vampires. So that kind of focus to stick with the nuances of that performance, I think that that's one of the amazing things for us as directors to watch the animators do every yeah. day. It was also great, the casting of the voices mm. in the movie, because half of them I couldn't tell who they were till the credits rolled. Mm, and I was great. like, oh my God, that was Simon Pegg, that was yeah. Nick Frost, amazing. Yeah. Was it important to you to cast the right voice rather yeah. than the big name? Definitely. I mean, we, we, yeah, we both had our little wish lists of who we thought could play the roles. And when you put all the voice talent together for an animated movie, it's, it's, it's a little bit like putting the band together. You're trying to find the right sax saxophone to play against the drums, and so we would have our character designs up and little voice clips from each of the actors. From their old movies. From old movies, something. interviews, and, and just play them off each other and just try to get a sense of how this whole symphony of, of sound was really going to work. And then, and then when we got there, you know, we knew we had a lot of our recordings of Elle Fanning speaking in her American accent, mm -hmm. um, and then we knew she could do an English accent, but it wasn't until we recorded her that we really saw how good. And then, yeah, Nick Frost came up with Trout's voice mm -hmm. on the first day of recording, and then Sir Ben just came up with his whole individual Amazing. conception yeah. of, of Snatcher, which was... Definitely en route to what we had talked about, but went way beyond anything that we expected. Yeah. Thank you both so much. Yeah, thank you. Congrats again. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.